Hi everybody. All right. Um, most of you know this is a convertible. So, 2005 Mini Cooper S convertible. I keep it back here in the back in the winter, and um, I gotta modify my uh, charging system. And so, I'm gonna take this little half cover off. We do have a full cover for this car, but sometimes it's just more pain than than not so what I'll do is pull this half cover and I'll show the uh, modification that I'm going to do to the charging system I used to have the cord going in the, in the rear boot which is where the battery is located, but it's such a close gap here that it was pinching my extension cord. So I wanted to run the wires all the way from the front end up here. And okay, so you can see the charge and the cord doesn't get pinched. The extension cord doesn't get pinched here. And uh, you can see here, my charge is green it's a green light so it's good to go but i'm going to unplug it for a little while and i i run it over over the mirror so i i don't forget that it's here and i also have a, a little hang up spot that i can hang it let's see i need the keys and uh Okay, the keys are in the storeroom. You gotta excuse me, I'm also listening to Christmas music in there, so I don't wanna get a uh, copyright. Okay, so let me bring you around the back. Down in here, the battery is located underneath. Underneath the tray, I'll take the tray out. Okay, it's easier said than done. And there's where the battery lives. And I have a longer connection. And what I'm gonna do is um, ch change that out. Hold on, I'll show you. Okay, I'm back. For this modification or, or modification to my modification, all I need is a 10 millimeter to disconnect the battery and put on the new eyelets. Um, this, I forgot, it's convertible. This is removable. So I'm gonna remove it. I'll stick it up on top of the roof there. And that gives me access to the battery, as you can see. The old core is black. This is the negative side. Here's the positive side. I'm gonna disconnect these two and it runs underneath, up there underneath the seat. And it goes, I took the back seat lower cushion out. Ooh, that needs to be washed. And then inside the car, I have all this excess wire. And this is the connection from under the hood. It reaches this far. So what I have, I have a longer cable that goes from the battery to right under that seat. It's about three feet. So that'll get rid of all that excess cordage that's under the seat. And it, it'll make one less connection. Well, no, it's the same connection. No, it's not. It'll be one less connection. I'm sorry. So that way, um, it'll, it'll just be uh, a little bit easier, a little bit better, and less excess cord uh, when you're talking about battery and electricity going through the, um, the wires. So uh, this way, I'll, I'll have that. And I won't um, throw away that excess cord. I can use that on the van because the van itself is 22 feet long. 
Um, and I plan to put a, uh, another battery in the back of the van, a house battery for the back of the van. So I'll use it in the van. And uh, there is a possibility that I'll do the same for the boat. So I may have to do that. But anyway, what I'm going to do is disconnect here. And pull, get the washer and take negative off, washer and the positive off. And you can see here, this is the connection. So this is a short piece. It's just, I mean, it's only maybe, maybe two feet or one, one foot. Whereas this new one. Here, I'm going to open this up, and this will give me more um, space so that this connection will connect underneath the seat where we looked at earlier. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference in length here. Right now, I got them both side by side, the old one and the new one. And if you can see, the old one, I'm getting it caught up here, would only stop, it's only like a foot, a foot long. Whereas the new one, I have the extra three feet. And then these are the connections. So I'm going to connect these to the battery. And then the other end, this end, will connect under the seat. And, um, and I'll eliminate all of the excess wiring that I have. So we get my nut out the way. Get my another nut out the way all right let me go with black on and if you can't see it's okay you know how to put a an eyelet on a battery terminal now i know it looks red but that's just where you split the wire and it's actually black. And another thing to realize that the red has a fuse already in it as well. And I'll go underneath the battery holder. So that if anything big in the trunk, it doesn't get um, smashed. Get my nut on here. And uh oh, come on, it's not threading evenly. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Now we got it. All right. We'll just give it a couple of So that's connected. And what I'll do is fish it underneath the seat Look, the seat back here I could go under the carpet but I don't think that's necessary especially since again we might have the grandkids back there next summer but most of the time it's nobody back there so looking in here what I've essentially done let's get this set up here is eliminated all of this cable here. I've eliminated all of this. Now pull this through. And I could go underneath the carpet here. And I may do that. Let me see if how difficult that might be. Nah. I want to put it underneath here.
Okay, what I did back there was I routed it underneath the negative battery terminal so that it would have a better path. And then all you do is plug this in. And now I have a direct connection. There's only two things in line, not three. And I'm going to show you again. All of this wire here is what I removed out of the system that's not necessary. So we'll get rid of all of this. And then all I have to do is put the seat back. Put the uh, lower cushion back on the seat. Into the seat belt. You lift up and push it down. These clip in place. I'm gonna have to move you guys over some so, so I can clip it in place. Two, three. I might have to get that one from that side. That goes there. That goes there. Make sure my seatbelts are up. And I'll push this one in. There we go. So that's the install of the rear seat. Let's get you guys out of here. And we'll look again. So now, looking in the battery compartment, nice and tidy, goes right under the fold down seat. It's not interfered with anything. And I can put the first. I can put this tray back in place. And second, I can put my other tray in place. Yeah. And, and that modification is done. So with the charger, like I said before, it runs through underneath the weather trim, comes out underneath the seat, and that's where you saw it. And then it's connected to the battery. And that's it. So now all I got to do is reset the windows. Because in the Mini, when you disconnect the battery, the windows stay down. To open the door, there's an interference fit here. The way you reset that, well, let's go ahead and reset it. Ugh. Turn the key on. Put the windows down. Hold them down for three seconds. The, the, and now put them up and you hold them up for three seconds that's it that's so now when I get out I'm take the key I get out of the car close the door and as you can see the window slid up when you depress the handle the window comes down just slightly so that fit when you close it it goes up so the windows reset so again 
battery charger lives here and it runs through. I got a knot in the cord here so it can't get pulled out. Plus I got a bungee cord, uh, or not bungee, zip ties here, here with an existing wire. So I just followed existing wires. This is a 05 Cooper S supercharged uh, convertible. I got this car for I think 600 bucks. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Um, it had the telltale sign of a cracked water reservoir, which means it could have been overheating, but I didn't see any signs of overheating. The supercharger service had not been done on it, so I did that. And I also, when you take all of this apart to, to change the supercharger or to fit service it, you uh, change a couple of O-rings and gaskets that, have, that are prone to leakage oil. So uh, I did all of that. And the dealer charges a few grand for that because of all the work that's involved in taking this whole front end apart. Um, but I don't mind doing it and I don't need the car like I didn't need it when I bought it. So I didn't have to go to work in the car, you know, like when, when you have, when you rely on a car to go to work, then you, you got to get it fixed. And I didn't require that. And I had, I still have three superchargers in my storeroom that are serviced and ready to go. Should I need one? Um, so whenever I find them, I keep them. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to start this car for a couple of minutes and uh she starts right up thanks for staying with me